as you can see in uh, in my building now I have completed the reveals um, like we talked about in the previous video I have the reveals on the brick wall what I did afterwards also I uh, tried to match up the uh, the reveals on the walls with the reveals on the on the fin so I just selected them and used my arrow keys to move them in order to match it with the, the reveals on the wall so that everything's matched up now in this video what I want to talk about is uh, how to create these um, shading devices if you take a look at the picture there are shading devices um, on the on the facade uh, at least on the front glass window here so I'm gonna see how we, how I can create these um, shading devices so let's go ahead here I'm gonna go into my flow plan the second flow plan because that's where we see these shading devices now as you can see in the picture we have two layers of those uh, I'm gonna create one layer and then <coughs> uh, copy it down uh, to create uh, the second layer of shading devices so uh, it needs to be a component uh, the shading device so I'm gonna go into component and say model in place and it's gonna be an extrusion so it can be anything really uh, I don't really have a particular a particular particular um, category that I want to add this to I'm just gonna use roof just cuz I don't have any other particular um, category that, that I can add this shading device into so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna call it shading device And now I can just create an extrusion. I'm gonna go to extrusion now. I'm not really sure about the the heights where these are located. So I'm gonna uh, say extrusion start is gonna be at zero, and uh, the thickness of it's gonna be around uh, say three inches. Um, let's do two inches, right, and it's gonna be two inches. And I'm just gonna now just draw this using my. Um, I can use pick lines. Or I think what might be easier is uh, using the arc. So I'm going to use the arc here. <coughs> just point and get the tangent like so. And then just draw a line here. And uh, I can then offset it uh, just a bit. Uh, uh, make it offset. So I can use, uh, well, Let's just draw a line that might be easier so that I can trace the exact uh, path. I use the arc again. So tangent. And use the line. Oops. I can just close the loop here and uh, close the loop here as well. And I finish it off by trimming it to this. And I have these small batons, uh, kind of a smaller baton. Uh, let's. I'm just gonna use a rectangle. That's okay. I think it's saying something because of the loop. It's okay. And, uh, this one. Because it's at an angle, we can't really use the the box tool, so I might have to just and uh, I'm just gonna complete that. Uh, just complete all of these, and then come back and uh, show you the completion rather than just draw everything. So now I've completed the batons. Uh, I can finish it up by clicking the green checkbox and there you have <coughs> the shading device the, the only thing that we haven't done is these internal um, the internal framework that you see here uh, we can easily do that by just drawing uh, what you can do is you can just go ahead and edit the extrusion and if you draw another line inside you can easily create that I'm not going to go into detail about doing that just just um, so that you know you can easily create another line inside 
but it, it also where, where it meets it needs to be uh, trimmed properly so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna finish it off there and that's it so when I go into my uh, 3d view this is what I see right now and I can uh, go into an elevation the south elevation and uh, <coughs> this is uh, the, the, the shading device that I have and I can cut it and paste it in place yes Let's see if I pay um, and then I think I didn't paste it properly but I can move it uh, later on as well yeah do that I'm gonna copy and paste it again so I have another control X and control V previously and then I control C use control C and control V to add the second one so there we go and let's go into our level 2 view well it's just a ceiling plan and see if the these I think that works that's properly placed I think that's properly uh, it's properly placed I think uh, yeah, I think that should be okay. I'm going to my south elevation again. That's how these two are. And I can copy these and paste them wherever I need them. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at this. The shading devices are uh, next to these, um, the reveals that we created, so we can use the same. Uh, we can use the same gauge, same measurement. Rather, that we have more. This, yeah. so it comes in two. Uh, so probably I need to copy both together. Control C, Control V, and uh, paste one here. And Control C, Control V. I'm going to paste one here. We move it slightly and maybe bring these two up to where this and just another set here. I think that's that's it so once I'm done I'm just gonna click finish let's see how that looks like in 3d so there we go we have our shading devices uh, if it had that middle um, section it would have been even better looking but now uh, I mean, it looks okay but it would have even been better if you had the internal uh, the, the other two sections here as well this this looks fine um, can we can even change the material here um, I think it's an aluminum material so I go ahead and change the material uh, I think I need to go into the type and uh, maybe we need to let's see where the is oh, I need to edit in place and then uh, select uh, our extrusion and then if I go here I have material by category and then if I go in and say aluminum and add aluminum and all of the all of these should change as well because it's the same one so finish it up um, probably didn't might need to go into each and every one so I didn't in place select it we should have done it before we copied it um, and then change it to aluminum Oops. 
So like that you can change all the others as well. Let's take a quick uh, rendering of this and see how that looks like. Um, I'm going to go into Enscape. <coughs> We haven't uh, say finished model. Let's save the project. All right, let's uh, go ahead, go to Enscape and click. I just want to see how that looks like uh, in a rendering. I think it's uh, it's a little too big. Uh, the file's getting a little bit heavier as we add more stuff in. So there we go. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. See the the way that the light affects the shading device it might have looked even better if he had the internal. Uh, those two other elements uh, it just looks like a frame so maybe um, you want to add that in but that looks pretty good yeah this I think this is a, a mismatch with the flow uh, the 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 two walls on how they connected so I need to probably go in but right now it looks pretty good, it looks realistic, uh, just adding these would have made a, a big difference I think. But that's it, um, so in the next video we'll talk um, about uh, internal um, arrangement of the building as well. So.